Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. President Armen Akabramian congratulates the 46th President of the United States, Joe Biden, with Ali Balasenyan as the de facto leader of Artsakh. Interview with the Member of Parliament of Western Armenia, Simon Daronyan. Interview with Armina Adibegan, expert on Azerbaijan. Turkey goes to provocations in Eastern Mediterranean and Artsakh, Mike Pompeo. Five gems of medieval Armenian literature are available in English. Three stamps dedicated to historical and cultural monuments of Armenia put into circulation. Mr. President, on behalf of myself and the Armenian people of Western Armenia, I extend our warmest congratulations to you on your victory in the presidential elections, which is indeed a victory for the independent states. These women and men who in the past believed in the values of honesty and freedom of the United States of America are defended. During the First World War, the United States revealed the international community the crimes committed against the Armenian people in Constantinople thanks to the reports and memoirs of U.S. Ambassador Henry Morgenthau. United States of America for testifying that justice, democracy and freedom are the foundations of the first world power, represented by its Senate, recognized on May 11, 1920, a Republic of Armenia on the territory of Western Armenia, and accepted the mandate of the 28th United States President Woodrow Wilson for the insurance of an arbitral award. This Armenia, which has already been recognized by the Allied Powers de facto on January 19, 1920, at the Paris Conference by the United States de facto on April 23, 19, 20 and they drew on May 11, 1920 following the San Remo Conference, supported by the peace treaty signed in Cyrus on August 10, 1920. United States of America, which today expressed a sincere rejection of the continuation of this injustice in the world and decided to place their trust in your safeguard, the values and virtues which made it truly superpower. Mr. President, we are generations of genocide survivors eager to see the United States of America today under your leadership, hoping for the realization of the rights of the Armenian people through the law of states relating to the Convention of Montevideo. Mr. President, I congratulate you and American nation. We extend a constructive and fraternal hand to you so that our two nations can work together and lay the foundations for a better future for all mankind under the aegis of security, stability and prosperity, respecting our genetic resources, and so that there will never be forced displacement of people or systematic plans to exterminate the people of the earth. We are convinced that today the great powers of the world have a real chance to correct the mistakes of the past and to adopt international law a fundamental principle of peace without which the world will be a chaos ruled by the barbarians. As we can see now in the Republic of Artsakh, which underwent 44 days of military offensive perpetrated by Turkish Azerbaijani army. Mr. President, by empowering us, you allow us to take real responsibility for our destiny by attaching it to the global destiny you have the right to lead today. I wish you a speedy recovery. With respect, Armena Gabramian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Yesterday, Artsakh President Aray Karutunyan announced the start of political consultations and the formation of a government of national accord for the sake of the security and development of the homeland and the welfare of the people. There is information that before the announcement, Aray Karutunyan extended a hand of cooperation to the former authorities in Artsakh, offered to put aside all the previous disagreements and set about repairing the backbone of the rest of the homeland. In particular, Vitali Balasanyan was offered to return to the post of former secretary of the National Security Council, from which Pakosa again dismissed him at Nikol Pashinyan's urging. President Armena Kabaramian congratulated General Vitali Balasanyan, who is well aware of the responsibility that awaits him. On Western Armenia TV, Member of Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, Simon Taronyan, analyzed the current situation after the Artsakh War, spoke about the problems and rights of the refugees and displaced people. He also spoke about the Armenian territories occupied now by Azerbaijan. The interview is available on our official YouTube channel. On Western Armenia TV, Armina Adipikan, an expert on Azerbaijan, analyzed the foreign and domestic policy changes in Armenia, the policy pursued by the current government and the diplomatic mistakes. Armina Adipikan referred to the situation in Armenia and Azerbaijan before the beginning of the war and then after the signed ceasefire. To the question that there will be a war of resources now and then, and it is obvious that the enemy exceeds in resources, what will be our weapon? The answer was clear that our weapon will be our intelligence. The interview is available on our official YouTube channel. 
U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo criticized Turkey for opposing the principles and operation of NATO and undermining its cohesion during the foreign minister's teleconference on Tuesday. Greek newspaper Katha Marini reported citing diplomatic sources. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said in an unusual speech for NATO that Turkey opposes NATO principles and activities, thus splitting the unity of the alliance. In particular, Pompeo pointed to Turkey's provocations in the eastern Mediterranean, Libya, Syria, and Artsakh Tasra reports. Sofi and Arminika announced their forthcoming publication of five gems of medieval literature. The hardbacks are the first releases of our new dual language series which places the original Armenian text on the left-hand side and the corresponding English translation on the right-hand side and was published on December 1, 2020. The five books published include History by Aristakes Lastiverti, History of the Aghvans by Movsez Dashkurantsi, Matthew of Idaisa Chronicles, Sambats Barapets Chronicle, and the History of the Nations of Archers by Grigor Agnetsi. These books address important episodes in Armenian and Near East history, including the Mongol and Seljuk invasions, the fall of Ani, the Battle of Manaskert, the Crusades, and etc. They also contain a wealth of information about Armenian anthropology and folklore and are invaluable learning tools for students of classical Armenian. The books are available in handcover format on Amazon. For more information, visit the website of Sophie in Armenian Library. On November 30, 2023, stamps dedicated to historical and cultural monuments of Armenia were put into circulation. Along with the stamps, Hypost issued a donation coupon. Proceeds from the sale of coupons will be used to preserve historical and cultural monuments in Armenia. The stamps depict the Agaragadzor Bridge of Vyosto region, Marmashan Monastery of Shirak region, and the Eredwik Temple located in Shirak region. The aim of this program is to contribute to the preservation and popularization of the most endangered historical and cultural monuments ensure public involvement and participation of visitors arriving in Armenia in efforts to preserve historical and cultural heritage. Now let us represent your attention a song by Nubar Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.